All right, you already have a problem. Devin Booker's guarding with his back to the sideline. Get your back to the baseline, okay? And as your man cuts through, you're just cutting through with him with your back to the baseline. Why is that? Because you're not going to get beat back door. You're seeing man, you're seeing ball. Look at Devin Booker. This is, Stop. When you guard with your back to the ball, you are asking for this to happen. All right, if you're Devin Booker here, if you're not going for the offensive rebound, start to get back. Same thing with this player. Start to get back. Okay, if everybody's just standing around watching the shot, trying to get an offensive rebound, this is going to happen all the time. The Suns player, why am I backpedaling on Drew Holiday and allowing him to go this way? Look at this. Stop. Flip your hips and get up. Now there's no place for Drew Holiday to go to. What are you... Running drop coverage, you have to rotate on the backside here. So this player here has got to see the, that... Drop coverage is happening and this player's popping, then you need to move up here, okay, on a pick and pop. So right now this player would go here, this player would go here, and you can either have this player go here and this player go here, okay, or this big can come into the corner. But if you don't rotate on a pick and pop, it's practice three time. You're leaning towards the screen early. Can't do that. Look at this. You're going towards the screen early. Middleton's in the lane. This is a clear mismatch, Jock Landale having to guard Chris Middleton on the perimeter. This player is coming into the gap, so why am I not moving Chris Middleton and just forcing him here? I can stunt, I'm already in the defensive stance, and I can recover. Why would I let Chris Middleton have all the space he needs to operate? Not go under a screen with Grayson Allen. If you want to run drop coverage, you need to go over the top, and DeAndre Ayton's got to play up. You have backside help right here on Bobby Portis's role. Going under a screen against Grayson Allen is a horrible idea. Okay, if you're Tory Craig here, as soon as Brook Lopez slips, first of all, you're not connected to Brook Lopez. That's a problem. Stay connected, okay? Because when he slips this screen, look what needs to happen. So he slipped the screen. You need to be immediately now uh, underneath, battling for real estate, initiating contact. You're not doing that. So you're letting Brook Lopez just do this. If you're Chris Paul, you got to know you have a post dig coming with DeAndre Ayton right here, okay? So stop. So DeAndre Ayton is coming to dig in the post right now. Stop. So all you need to do is keep Drew Holiday in front of you. His dribble is going to be picked up in a matter of seconds, okay? So just stay in front. That's it. Why is Chris Paul... Look at this. Why is Chris Paul stopping here? Stay... Up. Like... You're Devin Booker. you got to stay up on Drew Holiday. Devin Booker is going to take his eye off Drew Holiday while he has the ball. Look at this. Look at Devin Booker right there. Look at him looking for something else as opposed to staying up on Drew Holiday. So now look. Now you're going to be late to climb up the ladder here. you got to go up. Look at You're going uphill as Drew Holiday is going downhill. If DeAndre Ayton wants to double here in the post, totally fine, but you have to rotate. So DeAndre Ayton's not getting out to Brooke Lopez. Never. Okay? So when this pass gets made here, this player rotates here, this player here, and then DeAndre Ayton simply comes up. But, I mean, you know. <laughs> terrible switch. If you're switching on to Brooke Lopez, you need to get underneath Brooke Lopez on the switch. Look at your switching over the top. So there it is. Right here, I need the drop coverage to be towards this part of the floor. So Devin Booker's got to shade Drew Holiday this way, and DeAndre Ayton's got to... Um, drop right here because I need I need a backside defender right here. So because DeAndre Ayton's got to stay up on Drew Holiday. Okay, you can't drop that far off of Drew Holiday. So now I can have a backside defender right here for Brook Lopez as he rolls right, and then if a skip pass is made, this player rotates here and this player rotates down. See, so look at the problem right here is that you really this backside defender can't really step up all the way because there's no one then to rotate to the three point line. So now DeAndre Ayton's got to stay with Brooke Lopez and Drew Holiday's wide open. This is not drop coverage. This is you just leaning towards the screen early. Look at the Suns player. You're leaning towards the screen. You get beat the other way. God, if you're Devin Booker, you can never guard like this. With your back to your man, you have to see the ball and your man. You know what happens next. If you are Tory Craig, why are you losing interest in sprinting back and transition here? Please sprint. Look what happens here. You are jogging. I can't believe it. This is where Devin Booker cannot slow down and transition. Look at he's sprinting and then he's slowing down. Stop. You need to be sprinting the entire way so you're here. So now I can get up and there's no place to go because you're in the gaps. But you slow down. So now Chris Middleton's just going to go right to the rim.
Okay, so Ish Wainwright comes down to dig in the post. If you know that you have a post dig coming and you do, then just keep this player this way. There's no place for him to go this way because you're digging and recovering. Why would you let him go away from that dig? Got to stay up and drop coverage on Drew Holiday. You can't backpedal, okay? Like, right, if you're worried about getting beat one-on-one, -on -one, then just angle him this way where I have gap help right here. I mean, you just can't give this up. Again, you can't play off of Drew Holiday like this. You're giving him a running start to go downhill, all right? This is already a mismatch, all right? So this player's got to drop and be in the gaps, and DeAndre Ayton's got to be up. Now I can get up, and I can shade him right into gap help. I can stunt. I can recover. But again, like... Like, this is just can't happen. You cannot die on this screen. You have to know a screen's coming, and if, since you're in drop coverage, okay, now I can just focus on getting over the top of the screen, okay? Because if you run into this screen, and I don't know if he knew the screen was coming, if he didn't know it, then that's bad. you got to communicate that, but you can't fall like this. You've got to be already over the top on Drew Holiday because that's going to screw up everything else. Not stand in no man's land. Look at Chris Paul right here. He's not in no man's land yet. Now he is. Okay, Devin Booker is coming to double right here. So you can't just be standing here. you got to be sprinting out to the perimeter. Okay, I promise you there's a responsibility that you ha have. Look at Chris Paul. Standing in no man's land. Standing in no man's land. Stand you, you could be easily already out here now. But now another player's got to come up and he's late. And now Joe Ingles is right to the rim and it's a layup. This is atrocious. This Suns player is feeling out a screen that isn't even close to being set. Look at this. Look at this Suns player thinking a screen's coming. It's not even in the vicinity. Like, get your hands off of Chris Middleton. He is going to take advantage of your hands being all over him. Look at that. Look at the space he just created. That's all it takes for you to be late to get under this screen. So now you're still trying to get up above the screen while Chris Middleton is going to dust you the other way.